Stay tuned to the end of this video to win this one-of-a-kind piece of history.
You know the hardest thing about this is not getting my fingerprints all over it. <laughs> and also the shine, guys. You can't see the shine. You can never see how good this stuff polishes up. Put a lot of work into my polish. Um, I got to tell you, I'm very impressed with that super glue. I wasn't sure if that would work. Uh, I was always planning on making an aluminum bronze handle for this. And I decided against it once I started playing with this. So Starbon got a hold of me through email and said, Hey, we got some good stuff here. We'd like to send you some. And usually I don't do any of this stuff. Like, you know, we get a lot of emails. Um, I said, yeah, ship it. Here's my address. They shipped it out because I like having super glue around. If it sucked, I'd tell you. And um, no, it doesn't suck. That is super glue. The finish is super glue. This said thick. And then I want you to read that right there. Gap filler. Uh, yeah, fills gaps, guys. That's incredible, right? So anyway, um, yeah, this restoration is totally fake. I'll explain here in a second. I certainly hope you enjoyed my restoration, but I've got to tell you something. <laughs> um, it was fake. Yep, and there's a lot of this going on online. So here's the knife. This is before I even start the video. I want to show you the knife. I bought this for $10. I know that because it still had the tag on it about 30 seconds ago. And um, it's a pretty nice little knife. It's a cool knife. And it's got a little clickbait to it, you know, because it's an antique Mora, right? And uh, made in Sweden. So we can throw a clickbait title up there talking about how this was in a war or something like that. And, um, and then we can take this blade which, you know, you can see there's a little bit of rust on it, but it's not too bad. There's a little bit of bend here and a little bit of bend there. We can definitely, um, uh, you know, make those look a little worse. And then we have ourselves a really, really good clickbait uh, restoration video. So we need to create a little bit of damage on this guy because it's just not dirty or grimy enough. It needs to look like it was found in France in the trench. Like, that's how you got to do it these days. So um, this is kind of like a little bit of PSA for you guys, uh, how to spot fake restoration videos and they're everywhere there's a brand new channel up and everything the guy does has like fake rust on it and I'm gonna show you some of the techniques so first off we got a we got a little crack running through here that's great I would totally leave that I'd leave this knife just how it is because I like it mm. that's why I've had it for over a year and I haven't done anything to it but we don't want to get in here and ruin our good metal so we can polish this stuff back pretty easy though it needs to look like we're doing work on it so we'll use a toothbrush to clean this up or something like that but we're going to put some fake fake rust and stuff on there and then we'll polish it when we're done the blade itself there is minor pitting on the blade um very minor nothing we can't polish out you can see the logo is pretty clear so we need to be able to rust this blade up really quickly and actually have it become rusty so we'll use a little bit of like muriatic acid or something like that and kick it off and then um stop that process before it goes too far and actually causes pitting so that's what you'll see in a lot of these uh, Japanese knife restoration videos is they look terrible to start off with but when they're done you don't even see an ounce of pitting on them it's because that's a brand new knife um, that was something that they purchased off of eBay or something like that not really sure where they got it from but anyway just more fake stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, now that you've seen the restoration of this knife I'm gonna go ahead and take this knife right here and I'm gonna break a part of the handle off of it so it looks pretty rough I'll bend these up a little bit more and we're gonna rust the blade off I'll probably actually go ahead and take it apart first as well just release this screw so that we can um, uh, uh, like really get in there and kind of see what's going on and as far as the screw goes I'll probably like super rust this part right here but with fake rust like using some sand and um, sand and some paint and then just pack that full so that I can like visually get a good shot of me scraping this off to find out that that's a screw and reveal that to you guys <laughs> and, um, and of course we will not be using real penetrating lube we will be spraying it with WD-40 because as we all know WD-40 just removes rust like nobody's business off of <laughs> off of stuff that's been around since Vietnam in the dirt uh, you know so anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Now I'm just going to show you like real quick shots of me kind of getting this thing to the point of um, needing to be restored. Oh. So a lot of you have been waiting for my uh, fake restoration where I show, I kind of call out these fake restoration channels. So I made this, this is food coloring and water because a lot of them pour like this colored, you know, it's just usually degreaser or something like that and it like magically removes all the rust. So we, we're gonna label this, this is oil, that's a snack. <laughs> And it contains orum olia, which is Swedish because it's a Swedish knife or snake oil. I thought that would be quite funny. <laughs> and then Amy explained the 
label? Oh, it's a um, a chemical hazard label. So the uh, blue is um, health hazard. So I put three and uh, zero for flammability in the red and two for instability. So I thought those were good uh, <laughs> good measures of a snake. All right, I, I got to go not restore something. <laughs> Just like that, with a couple taps, we shattered it. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That's what we want to see right there. Oh, see, I messed up. I should have left all that in there. Let's go ahead and bend these a little bit. It needs to look a little silly. Like, as if it was really abused. So, to really have it look abused, we need to put a little twist in it. So, let's go a little twist. You look good for the camera. Oh yeah, that looks great. So we're gonna up our rust game a little bit by adding some particulate to it. It'll look cooler. And uh, when I do that brushing technique where I use a toothbrush to to uh, remove all the rust, it'll show a lot of rust coming off. So I just got my two by 72 belt grinder right here. Down on the floor, I got something to catch some crap. And this is gonna be our, uh, our media that rusts out. Okay, so here's our pre-rusted blade. You can see it's got a little bit of pitting on it. I mean, that's just normal use. That's what you would find um, on most knives. And then in here, um, nothing special. This is stuff you have in your kitchen. A little bit of uh, acid, and I was out of vinegar, so what I used was um, the citric acid inside some lemon juice. So there's just some lemon juice in there and granules of salt. You can see that. Um, we'll probably actually grab some of the salt from the bottom and put it on here and rub it around a little bit. And then we've got a little bit of iron to sprinkle on there, some, some steel. So this one's pretty simple. Like nothing in here can hurt you. Let's put our filings on there real good. Let's make sure a lot of this is gonna fall off. We want it to look the part of a knife that was in discovered in the trenches somewhere in France, even though this knife would have never been there. That's the key. Let's see, let's get a little more of the juicy juice on there. Okay, so we're outside in the sun, and as you can see, no real rust yet, although it already looks pretty gnarly. So we're just going to set it out here outside where we found it when we track down our restoration project. <laughs> there you go. You, you hang out there for an hour. Alright guys, well, just give you a little finishing shot in the day. She's pretty. Um, I think I'm going to give this away, so leave a comment. But you also have to share this video on your social media. So s just tell me that you shared it on Facebook, shared it on Instagram, and then we'll do random comment generator. And I think I'm going to do a reaction video to all the fake um, restoration channels out there because people like reaction videos. And I think it's just good information for you guys to have. The, the guy that this was modeled after uh, in six months has almost a million subscribers. And I know he actually watches my channel because he's, uh, well, he's stolen something that's pretty much signature to my area out here. And it's really funny. We'll talk about it in the next video. And, um, yeah, I feel bad, like, throwing someone under the bus. But, I mean, come on, man. Like, don't fake stuff. It's not cool. Sorry I did it to you guys. All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Leave a comment where you shared it. And then you will win this knife.